Uh, one of the things that's really special about this organization is that the word arts is in the title. It's the Engineers Alliance for the Arts. And when it was founded in those early days, uh, there was a real commitment on the part of the structural engineering community to value arts education and the arts and to bring the work that they do in structural engineering and the work that was happening in the arts education classrooms, particularly visual arts, together. Great team building exercise, really connecting to the common core, bringing mathematics into the classroom, uh, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. I think it's been a wonderful experience for them. It gives them a chance to really stretch their creativity in an academic classroom. They've had an opportunity to apply what they've learned and really do something unique. Our world uh, in the 21st century needs both creativity and collaboration and partnership and cooperation. And this program is exemplary in both respects. This competition, it'll re look really good on the uh, college transcript. So that'll be something that the colleges will be looking for. And what I really like about EA is how passionate the kids get about their projects. They really learn uh, to put a part of themselves into the project. It's something that you need to learn before you get out into the workforce or before you get out into college. It gives the kids an opportunity to connect with professionals. It also gives them the opportunity to work together on a project where they can use their art skills, their math skills, their engineering skills. It creates a great community. My kids love it. Um, this program was nine weeks. Put together a bridge model, an essay, and a presentation for which each of them uh, were uh, ranked in terms of points. The Student Impact Project is cross-discipline. It includes teamwork, creativity, engineering, design, construction, and written and oral communication. The challenge and goal in just eight classes is to design and construct a bridge spanning 36 inches, which is exactly our gap up here between the tables, to hold one brick at mid-span using the following materials, foam pole, glue, pins, ping pong balls, string, paint, and carabiner clips. Uh, quite a challenge. The bridges are judged on the following aesthetics, structure, class assignments, a written essay, oral presentation, and an exceptionality, and, and that's when you start to see the incredible creativity of, of these bridges. During the past 13 years, EAA has graduated nearly 3,000 students and involved more than 430 volunteer engineers. Okay, so um, I want to thank God for letting the brick not break the bridge. Considering that we've never really built a bridge before, we think that we did an awesome job because we made it this far. <laughs> Technology is very important, but when you put your life on the crossroads of art and technology, your life explodes. Technology is what makes things work. Art is what makes things beautiful. It's important that technology look beautiful. And that's where the Engineers Alliance for the Arts come in. I think obviously a very appealing bridge. Well done, guys. <laughs> now, Geometric every... form and very well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job, guys, and well presented. Nice design, a very efficient design. Well done. Well done. The, the way these were built, but if you look at the articulation of this, the support, you also look at the span, and then it sort of tapers in this very, very almost sexy kind of way. It was really beautifully done, and uh, it's a really well thought, well designed, deserved win. Congratulations.
you. And this bridge also is the best in show. Thank you.